Welcome back to Photoshop Icebreakers. My name is Sijam and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take a photo and turn that photo into an event flyer. Here we are inside of Adobe Photoshop and I'm just going to go ahead and create a new file. And the file that we're going to be creating today is going to have dimensions of 1080 pixels wide by 1350 pixels high. And we're going to keep the resolution at 300 and let's just click create. So here is my blank canvas and what I'm going to be doing next is bringing in the photo that I'm going to be using for the main part of this flyer as well as some background images. Here are my photos. I'm just going to select them all and drag them in and I'm just going to place them by hitting the enter key or coming up to this check mark. And I'm just going to turn off the ones that I'm not using by clicking the eyeball next to each of them, right? And this is the photo that is going to be the main center of attraction of our flyer. So let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger by hitting control T and then let me just increase the size of it a little bit like so. The next thing I want to do is I want to add some guides that will help me to know my margins so I keep all my elements within those margins, right? So let me go up top to view and then guides and then new guide layout. Here we have a pretty standard guide layout. You can adjust it and play with it if you want, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click okay because these are acceptable. All I'm gonna be doing now is just adding some more guides. I need some more on the inside. So I'm just going to click my ruler and drag out a guide while holding shift. That will give me round values like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pixels. And I'm just gonna do 50 pixels on each side. If you're not seeing your ruler like I am right here, all you have to do is hit Control R, Command R if you're on Mac. Let me just go ahead and turn on the background images that I want to be using. So I have this cityscape right here. I'm just going to drag it down by using my move tool, which is V on your keyboard. Just drag it down like so. I have this shot of the Milky Way here that I want to use as well. Drag it up to the top there. Let's make them both a little bit bigger. Control T for our transform options. And I'm just going to click and drag this bottom edge right here like so until they both like overlap this center guide right here. Let me turn this one off. Hit Control T on the cityscape then expand it. And what I want to do next is I just want to brush away some of the edges. What I want to do is I just want to add a mask to both of them by coming down here to my add mask button, selecting both of them, just adding a mask. And I'm going to hit my eraser tool. So I'm just going to click, make sure the mask is selected. Make sure my eraser is at hardness 2% or somewhere thereabout. I check that by just right clicking with my eraser tool selected. And then I'm just going to brush away this edge right here and you can see what's happening. Let me do that on the second image. You can see the edges here. I don't really need to even touch this image, but for the purposes of this tutorial, let me just like brush it because it's already naturally faded. They're already blending into each other. And next, I'm just going to create a solid color by coming down here again, going to solid color and just creating like a really deep purple, right? Purple, like so. Then I'm going to drag it in the bottom of my layer stack. I'm just going to change the blending mode of the Milky Way to screen. Then I'm just going to go to the cityscape image and bring the opacity down to 20% or so. Now I can go ahead and turn on my main image of the model, as you can see there. And what I specifically wanted, oops, this should be underneath. What I specifically wanted for the model here is I just wanted to remove the background, right? But let me just make her a little bit smaller, Control T. And let me just decrease the percentage, right? Now let me just hit W for my selection tools. Go to select subject. Photoshop is going to select her for me from the background. All I have to do now that she's outlined properly for me is just come down here to my mask tool and create a layer mask. What I'm going to do next is just brush away some of this hard edge right here. E for your eraser tool. And all I'm going to be doing is just brushing away some of the edge of her image here. Next, I'm going to turn on this lens flare, sun flare image. I am going to set the blending mode to screen on this one like so. And then I'm just going to move it up right to where it overlaps the headphone right here. And then these hard edges, I'm going to do the same thing. Add a layer mask, hit E for my eraser tool. And I'm just going to brush away these hard edges. Nothing too crazy, right? Just so it all blends together nicely. So let me go ahead and hit T for my text tool or my type tool and just add some text. Let's call this cosplay con that's the name of our event right but i want to change this font but i also want to keep this style for another text that i want to write so let me duplicate this one here let me turn it off 
and then let me change the style of this font here to mostest is the font i want to use today mostest 825 that's looking a lot better right here and you'll notice over here you see something that says width a little slider here what i can do is change the value here and that will increase the width of a particular letter or the entire font but what i want to do is i want to change the width of just the o come over here and go 1600 and you see it stretched the O for me, which is a pretty cool effect. Let me just break the line, put the word con in a second line and do the same thing. Let's change that width to 1600, right? Then what I want to do is I want to decrease the space in between these two letters here by adjusting the line height or the tracking. And then let me just decrease the size in between the lines there then i want to turn back on this other font that i had here remember that earlier one that i said i wanted to keep as a backup so i'm going to name this because it's like a cosplay event and let's say our theme is like outer space because we have the milky way photo the sun flare photo so i want to call it worlds far away edition right let me just make that smaller because it's way too big How about that small let me increase the tracking in between the letters let's go to about 500 edition no s right and then let me move it up with my move tool v on my keyboard duplicate the cosplay con font Control and j to duplicate that once again and then let's just change this well let me first change the size let's just size it down so let's just do coming soon right let's delete this con because obviously we don't need that so let me just size it down from 12. yeah that looks good because we're just teasing the event right we're not giving too much away right now similar to like a movie trailer right so what i'm going to do is select all the fonts all the texts and then distribute the vertical centers i think i just want to add another small text up top here i'm going to duplicate the world's far away Control j then let me just move it all the way to the top so let's just do something random like a random event company name presents <laughs> i didn't write out the word company i just write road seal but let's just make it smaller like really 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 tiny right and then let me just move it up like so that's how you take a photo from stage zero and turn it into an awesome cosplay conference flyer hey if you like this tutorial and you want to see more Photoshop tutorials, be sure to subscribe to the Photoshop's YouTube channel so you don't miss any of this awesome content. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is C-Jam and I will see you guys in the next one.